The red quill is one of my favorite flies of all time. I fish it every year on the Mad River here in Ohio. And uh, if I can get up there, I fish it on the Asable in Michigan as well. And it just works beautifully. Artflix Hendrickson is a classic. When you start the thread, leave a space behind the eye, maybe an eighth of an inch. Uh, this is a classic uh, Catskill tradition. There's no good reason for it these days, but if you want to be authentic, and we all want to be authentic, by all means, leave that space. Take... 8 to 10 blue done hackle fibers, measure them up to about hook length, bind them down forward, try to keep the butts on top of the hook. Trim the butts. Go all the way to where you started the thread. And then take, I don't know, six or seven wraps back. You're going to wind up somewhere between 25% point on the hook shank and the 30% point. Measure um, a folded wood duck feather or two small feathers held back to back. Measure them to about hook length. Bind them down on top of the hook with a pinch wrap. I typically, rather than angle my scissors and uh, cut my tail off, uh, what I do is I just take three cuts going down the um, down the butts uh, to provide a taper. Each cut moving a little farther back. I use D's quills, um, dyed red quill, which is a rusty, rusty brown, or you can you can dye your own. Tie in underneath the hook, and um, bind down all the way. To just short of the uh, just short of the wood duck. At this point, wrap the the quill forward in close touching turns, and this can be difficult to to do accurately because quills, by their nature, um, are irregular. Just do your best. And once you get to just short of the wood duck, bind them down. I like to trap the, um, the butt with a wrap in front, a wrap behind, a wrap in front, a wrap behind, and so forth. Trim it off. Grab all the fibers, pull them back aggressively, and post them up. But... We don't want a steep transition on our towards the head. We want to keep it reasonably f flat, so um, we don't want a big cliff there. It'll make it'll make wrapping the hackle later very difficult. So try to keep it kind of level, but get the wings posted up. Separate out the feather into two wings. Hold the near wing where you'd ultimately like it to be and take four turns up it going front to back. Take a turn around the back of the wings. Then hold the far wing and take four turns back to front going up it. This will separate out the wings. Then pull them up and back aggressively and, and post them up some more. Try to get this head fairly level. Form them with your thumb and forefinger 
of each hand and then take a good look make sure that you've got about a 60 degree spread or so and these look all right so we'll go with that and finally take the thread back to the quill body we're going to tie in a hackle and it's important that we bind this down both behind the wings and in front of the wings and pull the wings back trim the hackle to the length of the thread so we still have a space there and then bind it down with more wraps it's really important to get this bound down well if you don't what can happen when you're wrapping your hackle is it pulls out and uh, you've now destroyed a whole bunch of work so you really want to tie it in securely wrap the hackle forward i i've these days i do three wraps behind and three wraps in front typically i used to make them much more sparse than that with just a couple wraps behind and a couple wraps um, in front and that's because of the flat water i like to fish if it's rougher water you might want to even use more hackle than this you might want to use two hackles it all depends on how how uh, on on the water you're fishing. Pull the the um, pull the hackle straight up. You can also bind it down underneath the hook. I like to I like to pull it straight up. Take a thread wrap and fold it forward, and then bind it down. Bind down the the hackle butt, and you need three wraps at least to hold this securely if you can do more that's that's great and then then cut off the butts as best you can trying trying to get all the strays with it it's difficult um, and, and then take three wraps back into the hackle just a little bit and that that'll get us ready for our whip finish this keeps the bulk at the head down, also preserves our space up front, and uh, makes us traditional. Hold the thread under tension and take a blade of your scissors and cut the thread. And here's the final product. And this is a fabulous fly. I can't wait to to get out on the Mad River in the spring with this fly every year at Hendrickson time. It's, it's never failed me. I just love it. Give it a shot.